Zoo. There's family fun for everyone at the Utica Zoo. Hi everyone, my name is Kathleen and today I'm going to introduce you to a couple of our African pygmy hedgehogs. This girl in my hand, her name is Violet, and similar to um, Widget who we've met last week, um, this girl was actually born right here at our zoo too, and she's going to be celebrating her sixth birthday this April, so she's almost six years old. Um, and these guys don't live quite as long as some of the other animals do. Being six is actually a little bit on the older side for these guys. Um, but she is out and about a lot. Sometimes you might have seen her on a Zoomobile or on a program um, because she's been here for a long time and she's been with us since she was very, very small. Now, hedgehogs are very, very different from porcupines in a couple different ways. As you can see, Violet is quite a bit smaller than Widget was. They don't tend to get quite as big as the porcupines do. And another big difference between them is that even though they look very similar in appearance, they come from totally different families. So if you remember, we talked a little bit about how porcupines are in the rodent family, but hedgehogs are kind of in their own family. They're in their own group, completely different from the porcupines and from rodents. In fact, they have very different teeth than a porcupine does. They're their teeth are actually a little bit different in shape and size so that they can eat different things. These guys tend to be insectivores, which means that they like to eat bugs. Pretty much any kind of bug or any kind of grub that they can get is definitely their favorite thing to eat. And if you notice, hedgehogs have a very, very pointed nose. And that's actually where they get their name because they have a nose kind of like a pig. And what they'll do is they'll use their nose to kind of sniff out a bug under the ground. And if they smell something down there that they think smells really tasty, they'll start to use their nose like a little shovel to dig or to root around in the dirt like a pig would do. Um, so these guys are really, really good at finding bugs to eat. Another big difference between the hedgehog and the porcupine is that hedgehogs have a lot less spines or quills than porcupines do. Porcupines tend to have those 30,000, but hedgehogs usually have somewhere between three to 5,000 quills or spines. A lot of the times we use this word spine just to kind of differentiate between the two of them. And another big difference is, as you can see, as I'm touching Violet on her back here, her spines are not coming out. She's not losing them in any way. If I was to touch Widget, our porcupine, in the same kind of manner, I might wind up with a handful of quills. But a hedgehog's spines actually stay in their body. If one gets lost, if one gets broken, they will grow back. They can lose them from time to time. It's kind of just like our hair. When we brush our hair, we might lose a piece of hair and it'll grow right back. Um, but they don't really lose them for protection the same way that the porcupine does. Instead, what a hedgehog will actually do is they'll curl up into a ball. And the reason why they do that is because they don't have any quills or spines on their tummies. So as you can see, your tummy's nice and bare, just like Widget. And I have actually another hedgehog friend with us today just to show you guys how they kind of curl up into a ball. This is Rachel, and Rachel's actually a little bit newer to the zoo, so she's not quite as used to being handled yet, and sometimes she'll curl right up just when we pick her up, just until she gets used to being handled. So I'm going to pick her right up so you can see. And that's how they curl up into a ball. They'll kind of hide their face, tuck away their hands and their feet and their bellies, and their spines get nice and pokey. They get nice and um, stand kind of straight up, and that way if a predator's kind of coming after them, she does that. She'll kind of jump a little bit, and that'll try and, she'll try and kind of poke an animal with those. And if an animal tries to take a bite out of a girl like Rachel, it'd be kind of like trying to put a cactus in your mouth. It wouldn't taste very good, so they usually don't go after them too much. So they're pretty well protected in that way. So hedgehogs are really, really cool animals, and recently they've become very, very popular for people to keep as pets. But unfortunately, hedgehogs don't always make the best pets for a couple different reasons. Um, one is that they are nocturnal, which is really important. They stay up all night and they sleep during the day for the most part. These guys are just up and about because we're up and about with them. Um, but a lot of the times it's important in the wild because that's usually when their favorite things to eat come out. So being up at night is really important for them. Um, but if you're keeping one as a pet, most of the time they're gonna be active running around doing their thing at night when we're sleeping. Um, and be sleeping when we want to kind of have them out to hang out with and uh, play with. The other thing about these guys too is that they can be very, very stinky, just like our friend Widget, um, and sometimes hedgehogs can actually carry salmonella. So you have to be very careful when you keep a hedgehog as a pet. You have to clean them quite often, and you always, always have to wash your hands after handling a hedgehog just in case they do carry that. 
Um, another really cool defense that hedgehogs have is something called anointing. And basically what they do is they find different things that smell in different ways. Sometimes it can be something that smells really, really gross. And they basically um, lick it and lick it and lick it and they get their mouth all foamy and then they start licking the back of their spines to make their spines kind of smell like whatever they're licking. And sometimes hedgehogs will use all different kinds of things, but they can sometimes even get like things like poop inside those spines there too. Um, so you really have to be careful, like I said, when you're handling them. Um, so now that you've met our friends Violet and you've met our friend Rachel as well, um, be sure to check out our websites for some really cool hedgehog activities, including making your own hedgehog at home. We made one right here. And I hope that you guys will um, post on our Facebook page the hedgehogs that you guys make at home. And we look forward to seeing you for our next video. Thanks so much.